Khan. It's your boy, the Dream in the House. And I got the Mad Hatter on the mic with me. What's up, people? What is going on, guys? How you doing out there? We are the SBTV Nation, and this is the Dream Selection this morning. A little rock and roll for you guys, man. I, I don't want to embrace his grace. <laughs> Start a little rock music, man. Let's break it up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know many black fellas that like rock and roll, brother. <laughs> I did not pick this one, man. I, I know I'm white and all, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I was feeling a little hey, hip hop hey, this hey, morning. Hey, don't listen to that when you didn't pick it. It's all in his database. You gotta try to front now for y'all. Like, you don't listen to rap music. Stop it, son. You got them in there. You got the um, the, the, the those girls. Guns and Roses. <laughs> Guns and Roses. Bon Jovi. <laughs> the Spice Girls. <laughs> the Spice Girls and his beast. <laughs> well, what is your what is your guilty pleasure, man? Oh, son. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what mine is. Guilty pleasure as far as music is concerned. Guys, we, we are on Twitter right now. SBTV oh, Nation. Oh, music, dude. I love, you know what I love, believe it or not? What do you love? Dude, I love, like, instrumental classical music, dude. Like, like. Some instrumental classical, not all of it, because some of it is, like, whack, too. Yeah. But, like, there's a lot of, like, tracks, like, classical music, instrumental. I, too, I, I really get down with it. Really? Yeah, I, I, I like it. And you know what I tend to like, too, which is crazy? Bubble gum like that, like those, like, show, like, like Broadway show type songs i like those cheesy songs <laughs> i do you know as far as my guilty pleasure i mean i definitely don't like country that's yep. for sure um my mother and my family like they're all you know they, a lot of my uh, older family and stuff like that are from west virginia so they're big on the country but white for... people have migrated to country i feel, <laughs> I feel like with the with rap not with with, with um with pop kind of taking over rock White people were like, like we just really can't listen to black people like this. We're gonna have to like migrate the country. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like some of the female vocal songs. I'll give it that. Uh, you know, maybe like little, like little, little. little uh, my, and my son is absolutely in love with her. But uh, Ariana Grande, she's got a couple good tracks and stuff like that. So I guess that's so much. She considered country? No, she's not country. Oh, okay. Pop, pop phenomenon, kid. Yeah, right. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I, it's a phenomenon yeah. like you, the dream. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I'm oh. like, like I'm all over the spectrum though with music. Um, so I like every, I do like everything. Um, I like rock, I like rap, I like, I like, you know, obviously hip hop, R and B, jazz, um, country. I, I dig some country too. Um, but um, yeah, I would say my most bizarre listens is probably like, like I said, Broadway show, like those kind of, those kind of songs. Those, most those bizarre songs. listens. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Hey, we're looking forward to it, man. Uh, big night in hoop last night, man. The Michigan State Spartans got the job done and beat Louisville, man. Louisville was all actually winning that game a lot of I the game. I was going to say, it wasn't really impressive. No. Absolutely not. Kind of gut-wrenching. A little bit gut-wrenching. Just a touch, man. But at the end of the day, they win the game and get the job done over in Michigan State, man. All the leans... Son, the uh, leans point hit at a at an eerily, eerily <laughs> high percentage, and sometimes eerily. at the eerily. end of the day, eerily. I gotta say eerily because you know why? At the end of the day, like on a Sunday, I tend to sit back and look at the scores and say, "Man, like, like, why didn't I do what I said on the show? <laughs> why ain't you on the French Riviera right now? <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? Why ain't I on the French Riviera right now? I mean, uh, we did mention." Fordham and St. John's just saying about the Johns being so bad. They got beat 73 to 57. Well, that was your call. I, I have <laughs> not even watched the Johnnies yet. No, I know, but I'm just saying. I mean, like, some of the the, the, the leans, I scratch my head with the leans a lot. I know, I feel you. I feel you. Do well, hey, handle. Maybe you should uh, just, you know, get involved with your leans and laugh. I know. The minute I do that, then they'll all bomb. Then, 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 um, you, want, then do, you want to go to the NFC East and uh, <laughs> do damage to yourself, man. Who handled their business? Yeah, I know, I know, dude. I, you know, you know what you try to do is you try to find. I try to find that one like uh, that one game that you think is gonna just work without a whole bunch of. You know, I, I do like the money line parlays. Obviously, I live in that zone. But you know what's so aggravating about money line parlays? You're always dependent on like both teams or on one more team to act right. There's always that one team that you got in that parlay that's just uh eating away at you because they're just not acting right. That's why you got live lines, player. Nah, I, I don't. I don't do that though, Hat. I don't understand. 
That's your thing. I don't really get into that because don't the, get it. the the few times that I've done that, it's it's not worked. It's I I've ended up losing. <laughs> I got you. And yeah, we're talking about right now being in Las Vegas when we're doing it, obviously, right? No, definitely. I gotta do it when in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go back, man. Son, you. I'd be getting couple of invites here and there to go back to Las Vegas and a lot of people are wondering if we're going to try to get to Las Vegas in a couple of months and I think um I think we need to have a conversation about that in the next couple of weeks. Oh, uh, son, I I've, I've got a mad feedback on that, but I got dude, I got like you guys listen, just so you guys know, all right, Vegas while it was a success, it was a little bit shaky too. <laughs> well, you know what it is is that, you know, a lot of people promised you know what I'm saying? But that, that's how it is with anything, though. Whether you do a party, whether you do an event, you know, whether you do whatever. But God damn, had we free? I mean, we've been free for, you know, I'm, I'm saying that the product here is free, baby. You know what I mean? So it's free like, product. yo, you can't muscle up. <laughs> least, least you could do. You can't muscle get up. Get your ass nickel. down to Vegas. <laughs> come to Vegas? You're the biggest show in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, use some of the lean money that you've been getting. I mean, come getting. on you know now. <laughs> I mean, now listen, whatever. I mean, come on. I mean, uh, like, everything in life is not, this like, one of the this is like the only thing <laughs> right i can't think of nothing is free <laughs> you know what you, know you what pose a very 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 good point brother you know what i mean it's just listen we are 24 i mean every day you know i whatever i'm beating it you know beating trying to pat our backs a little bit but yo i'm just feeling like for like what we do and how we come out and what we do and we're not even still we still ain't asking you to give us no money we don't want no money from no, you no. but come on out to the party Hang out. Let's have a good time. We could do the show there a couple of days and enjoy. And, you know, people just, oh, cats just couldn't do it. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you know what? Things come up and uh, life comes at you and all that. But, hey, yeah. maybe we'll do something along the lines at some point, you know, when we do our next event where we have, like, a um, like a payment plan kind of thing. Like, you know, you pay every uh, well, month. Start it now. for the, That'll be for the 2025. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Cask is just $10 a, $10 a month. So you do it, yeah. So you do it like, um, you know, and all, you know, obviously all the money goes right to the hotel. You know what I'm saying? So you do like, uh, I don't know, $99 a month or something like that until, you know, until everything is paid for. But my boy, oh, Jeff Bizzle was in the house. Of course I know he was, <laughs> man. OJFB was in live in effect, man. And a and bunch of you guys to, were, man. Yeah, big ups. A bunch of guys came out clamming. Man, swag came out. Woodbine fan was there. Sugar Shane Redinia showed up. My man, the hockey immortal, came out to win his thing. Yo, we, we, don't get me wrong. We did have a very nice crowd. Lexica wins. We had a very nice crowd. It was a lot of fun. We had a, a lot of, we did have a showing. We did have a showing. But when we first launched the feedback of what we were going to get, it was like, oh, dream, we're going, we're going. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, no, everybody couldn't wait. They 50, was excited. 50 rooms sold out in four hours. Oh, it was, it was a bomb. <laughs> we, we were like, okay, good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. And uh, we just had a hell of a good time. And I'm just looking forward to going back. Yeah, no, I'm definitely looking going it's back. Strip, just, man. Oh, when we're going to do it. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll have the conversation. Well, if we do it like, like that, we just might, me and you might just have to go back. We just might. We just may say, hey, you know what? We're going next week. Yeah. So, you know, whoever is, uh, you know, all, all the big shots on Twitter that make all this money every day, <laughs> you should be able to pick up and just go. And that's it. That's how it goes, it. man. All right. So, uh, looking at this, so I got a couple of, couple of notes here, Dream. So, yes, the New York Knickerbockers handled the Philadelphia 76ers, as I alluded to yesterday. And I, and I did not realize that Okafor was suspended for two games. I actually, guys, you know, between like 5 and 7 o'clock, that's when I go to the gym, you know, before all the games start and all that. And I just didn't, I wasn't doing my reading at that point. And I realized that he was out. And, hey, that just made it even sweeter for me. He called Johnny Manziel and asked if he could hang out with him for a little while. <laughs> yeah. on the Johnny football, party boy, man. Still ain't letting Johnny football play. But, by the way, the NFL is acting a tad bit childish with Johnny football. You think so? Um, you know, look. You're allowed to party if you. I mean, I mean, I know that what happens with these guys off the field is crazy. I know it's like a, almost an epidemic, so to say. But you can't tell people what they can do, really, like when they're not working. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't. It's uh, like telling yeah. me after ten o'clock, like I can't go out and like, 
Like, like I can't, I don't know. I can't go out and get into sports conversations with people at the gym. You can't really do that. You know what yeah, I mean? Don't, don't, don't give all the information out to the to the people. They got to make them listen to the show. That's yeah, that's the rules. <laughs> can't wait to get to Rick Lopez live at Diablos. I know, Rick. Um, Rick, by just, the way, yeah, go ahead, Dream. I'll, we'll you can't that. just, you can't do that. I mean, I, I hear what they're saying, but this is a, an adult, you know, male. So what? He's rapping with a bottle or whatever. Dude, dude listen, it's about winning footballs. Also, he puts people in the seats. Give the people of Cleveland what they want. Lord knows the people of Cleveland have endured the most horrible, horrific football in the history of the game. So give them Johnny Manziel. Let him play. I mean, it, just let him play. Then if you want to make a move in the offseason, you can't stand him. You don't like his actions. You get rid of him in the offseason. Trade him away. Whatever. Trust me. There's about 10 teams that would love to have him. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Philly would love to give him a shot. The Niners would love to, Oh, bring him on up. Bring you Johnny know, over I here. I think back to the, the, to the draft when he was sitting there with his girlfriend. Yep. And I think back to the Dallas Cowboys not taking him. Yep. Do you think Son, that? You, no, what do you please. Oh, imagine if you had Hardy oh, and Manziel there. <laughs> Him a cowboy? Oh my gosh, son! That wow. would have been the move, though. I think, man. Well, to put people in the With seats the, and what, to keep the when, when you've got going. when you've got a, um, I mean, you got a pretty good offensive line here, and you got a quarterback that dances around in the backfield. It might have worked a little bit better than Cleve, bro. Mm. It might have worked. And, and especially now with your star quarterback that just, you know, only played a couple of games here. I mean, Tony Romo, what did he play, four games? Yeah. You know, maybe, hey, maybe Jerry's world would have been a better better soup for him. Three games. You know? Yeah, it might have been. It might have been. I know I know they wouldn't have suspended him for the party. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. What is, does Jerry's world have, like, dancing girls and all that stuff? Yeah. I heard it's, like, I mean, crazy, you know, there's right? There's supposed to be girls that dance on, like, the poles or something at the, at the stadium. I've never been there. Oh, I got you. Well, hey, we're going to have to put that on our bucket list, man, mm. and go over to Jerry's World and catch a game, and hopefully you won't be involved in an NFC East stomachache while you're out there, Dream. So former Georgia coach Mike Richt is going to the U, baby. Right. Miami Hurricanes are going to pick him up. So what's your thoughts on that, man? Yeah, I um, you know, I think it's an okay pick. My thing is, I think the coach is like, like, dude, why wouldn't you take a year off? Like, I mean... Guys, I don't know if you know what goes into coaching a football team, um, and I have a little bit of an insight of it, but in hat knows from coaching, um, yeah. you know, when you coach the little guys, which is like, you know, which is, I mean, nothing like what they do on a college level, but right. college level coaches, that's like a, dude, it's a, that's, that job is so demanding. Of course it is. All right. Any coaching position, a head coach position, is a full time job, guys. Listen, no, if you think about no, doing about it's beyond the it's beyond a full time job. It's like beyond a nine to five. Oh, I, it's, oh dude, it, yeah. I mean, yeah. just just youth alone, right? Making playbooks, right. talking to the parents, uh, yeah. you know, making sure kids aren't injured, making sure they're healthy, you know, their right. their grades are good and all that. Dude, it's like it's like 40, 50 hours a week. Just that's that. what I'm saying. You're talking, but when you get to pro and collegiate level, you're talking like sixteen hour days. So my whole thing with this is. Like the stress that this puts on your family, and there's a couple of guys that were head coaches, and I raised a little eyebrow about like how their kids turned out. You know, Andy Reid's two kids were like a mess, like a menace to society. You know, but Andy's spending all day coaching NFL guys. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like I got it. I got a small issue with that. You know, I mean, Tony Dungy's kid. I don't know what happened to him, but you know, he killed himself too. Oh, um, wow. but this guy's knee deep in coaching, and you know, sometimes, like that's why we try to emphasize balance in life, especially with this gambling thing too. Um, about keeping it in perspective because you put things in front of your family, and your family comes back to bite you in an ugly way. So just keep that in mind when you're getting involved with stuff um, because you just have to find a nice balance and a way to in incorporate everything into your life. Well, you get, you know, and, and then you get these guys that are absolutely fantastic at it, like uh, Cower and Gruden and all that, that are just kind of chilling, that don't even want a piece of it right now. Exactly, because they know the headache that goes involved, that, that's all involved with it. And the, the stress, everything it puts on your life. I mean, you look at pictures of, of Rick, like, Five to six years ago, and every of course everybody ages. Yep. But then you look at you, you you look at him now, and it's like, wow, what happened to you, dude? You know what I mean? But um, hey, big ups to him. That's what he wants to do. He's got the passion for. And dude, the other thing is, at I could understand like if these guys, like I said, were broke. I mean, these guys make millions of dollars. Oh, I know. 
I know, just go, just go, you know, maybe go do something, you know what I mean? Go take a trip around the world or something for a few months, you know what I mean? Kind of clear your brain. Yeah, the comp- I get the competitiveness is there, and they can't find that that anywhere else in life, and they want to be involved in it, and they live for it, and they've de- dedicated their lives to it. But I would think that one would want to take maybe at least a year off. Anyway, Rick's back in the game again. I don't think it's a bad pickup for Miami. Um, it's probably a step in the right direction uh, as far as they're concerned. I'd like to see them in a new landscape and with new talent and a whole new different system yeah. um, to come across. So, hey, I wish them well. Absolutely. And you never know. Some of these guys may say, hey, you know, now's my time to do it because I'm young. Yep. You know what I mean? And and maybe this coaching job won't be available next year if I take a year off. Mm. That could be the case as well. But there's Looks always like I- vacant, there's always vacancies. Every year there's a vacancy. No doubt. Looks like I got involved with the Black Mama just one day too soon as my man Kobe Cole. Imagine that. Found his game last Imagine night. Imagine that. They go into Washington after Washington gets the job done the night before and beats the Cleveland Cavaliers. They go home. And we talked about this dream. It's the teams that are on the road their first day back is when they have issues. Mm. We've seen it. Kobe Cohn came in there and lit up 30. <laughs> <laughs> no, he the, did. He got 31 points. The Black Mamba got the job done, man. Hey, congratulations to Kobe Cole. What's that, the third I win? I so want him to do – I want him to pick up his game. I so want, like, him to have those 30, 40, 50-point games. I agree. On, Me too. Me too. On, I want to see go it. out like that. I so would love to see him go out like that. I would love to see it as well. I mean, you know, definitely, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, he is a, um, you know, one of the most popular players that has played the game. So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you definitely want him doing his thing and looking good out there. Hall you know? of Famer. Great, great. Hall of I mean, Famer. Hall great of Famer. To- I put him in the top 10. I agree with you there. Top I'm, 10. I'm with you. I'm right there with you, Dream. And speaking of hoop, Golden State Warriors, man. They don't lose, bro. 20 and oh man. And one big yesterday. Beat all up on the Charlotte Hornets that we've been talking about. But Charlotte, you know. Jefferson's out for the Hornets. So, right. I mean, you know, it, it's definitely a different team. But, bro, I mean, it, would they win by, like, 30? And Charlotte is not on their level. Either. No, not yet. Not you know? yet. Not even close. I don't think – who is on their level? Cleve? When, Cleve? when when my boy wants to play? When your boy wants to play. <laughs> maybe LeBron, LeBron missed two consecutive layups the other night, man. That were just so easy. I just could not figure out – you just telling his body language he didn't want to be there. Yeah. Versus Washington. But I could tell you right now that they're all up on him. And guess what time it is when that happens? It's time to take my boy. And mm. that's what we're going to look at, man. I, I, I noticed know. the Clippers wanted to lose again last night. I'm glad <laughs> I didn't go near them. And you know who they lost to, right? The, the Pacers. I've been telling you about the Pacers. Okay, okay, well, okay let them go play Golden State. Then maybe they could be Golden State. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Since you're so hot. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. Hey, you never know, man. Anything could happen. Um, I think that Golden State's kind of on a mission here, though. It seems. I like, like it, and like I said, you know what? I'm a, listen. I'm all for it. I'm. I'm way, I want to see greatness. I like seeing greatness in my time. I don't want to see mediocre. No. Like the thing they got going on in the NFL. Yuck. I don't like it at all. I want to see a really great, dominant team that goes out there, beats the brakes off of you, um, that's got a full package. Even when one guy goes into the bench, the next guy comes in is just as dope. I love what Golden State has in the makeup of that team. So uh, I'm all for what they're doing. I like it. All right. Sounds good. So, guys. But what? I yes. still think, I still say, Golden State and OKC's style of basketball, one, wears you down throughout the regular season, mm-hmm. and two, Playoff basketball is a whole different type of basketball than that. Yeah, you got to slow the game down Yep. in the playoffs. Yep. So something to take a look at once we get to that level in June, brother. So, Dream, what we're going to do right now is take a quick break, and we'll be right back with you guys. We are the SBTV Nation. How would you like to win big cash in sports gaming? Well, now you can. Visit TKWins.com. With over 20 years of experience, they can get you the winning edge you need. Specializing in winning selections on all major sporting events. NFL, NCAA football, NBA, NCAA AA basketball. Why wait? Check out their free daily winners online. It's never been easier to visit tkwins.com today and start winning. tkwins.com, consistently picking the winners for you. 
Have a product, service, or website to advertise on the biggest show in the world? The SBTV Nation podcast reaches tens of thousands of the best sports fans on the planet in over 194 countries worldwide. Take your business to the next level by advertising with us. Call us now at 872-529-SBTV or email us at sbtvnation at gmail.com. How about a little... Son, why do you clip the Welcome Back to the Biggest Show in the World part I gotta, with your crazy I gotta, voice? Because I got to fix it. Why? I love that. <laughs> I'll play it again for you. How about that? I love that. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> it's great, man. It's great. So a uh, little, little guilty pleasure here, a little Mary J. No doubt. I love Mary J. I don't think Mary J. song always about like crying and she don't need a man. She and, don't need a man, man. And she gonna be good by herself. And it's like, yo, shut up, man. <laughs> Mary J. Blige. Right, she can't make concerts. She's a bad relationship. Stop empowering everybody. She, she with can, that. She's empowering women out there, man. Women don't just need men you, out just there. Just because you were uh, dated the club killer that we were talking about yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great segment yesterday, by no, the way. No, it was. It definitely that was. That was hilarious. We were talking about guys, you know, out in the club doing bottle service, you know, uh, buy, buying drinks with food stamps and a whole package. And EBT that was just card. <laughs> EBT card. <laughs> just put it on my tab. Just put it on my tab. EBT. <laughs> All right, man. So, Dream, I got to ask you a question. Yes, sir. I was watch- I've been watching, you know, I was watching a little bit of TV. And by the way, Empire was absolutely oh. off the chain last night dude son you gotta get i'm telling you you'll like you'll it, like the son. show i just got enough on my, i can't I, I can't do it it's just enough on my i don't get into watching tv all right all right i barely got enough time for the sports <laughs> <laughs> now you want to add another show to if i add a show i'm dropping the game <laughs> all right all right all right but i was watching a show with my bride the other night and yep. it, it was about like adventurous people where things go wrong right are you adventurous at all? Like, do you, like, do any of that kind of crap? You know what I'm saying? Like, would you skydive or, you know, do anything stupid like that? I would skydive. You would skydive, huh? Yep. Even with kids and all that? Yeah. Having kids? What's, doing with my, what's my kids got to do with it? Well, because you got kids. If anything ever happened to you, you're a rat. Got life insurance. Oh, okay. It'll be even better <laughs> if something happens to me. <laughs> You know, that's not a bad point. Maybe <laughs> well, that's why my bride wants true. me to do but it. But that's not true, though. That's not. I, I, <laughs> I we make fun of that, but that's not. No, that's but not I'm saying, true. like, I see, like, these cats, like, handling, like, rattlesnakes. and uh, I would not handle a rattlesnake. Um, I just I, wonder what the hell's wrong with you, man. I am for skydive. I, I would skydive. Definitely. You know, wrestling. You know, wrestling crocodiles and messing with oh, bears. I'm not going to wrestle a crocodile. That. No, man. And I'm just like I, I just can't put. I just can't fathom the fact that you will put your life on the line for something stupid like that. Well, you put your put it, it. Technically, you put every time you get into a car, you put your life on the line. Good point. You get into an airplane, you put your life on the line. So, I mean. It, it, there's certain things, but skydiving is one of the things that I I, I would do. I would okay. Do that. All right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm saying like you got a car, you got a seatbelt on. At least you know you're trying to protect yourself. Seatbelt, son. This seatbelt. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to a car. You know what? I'm glad you brought up the cars. I've been wanting to talk about this. NASCAR fans go hate what I'm about to say. Oh yeah. <laughs> do you think that NASCAR is a sport? Yes. Yes, I do. So, so, cause, cause here's my thing, right? Cause I've been in my car, right? And I know my car is not a NASCAR, all right? But I've had my car over 120 miles an hour. Okay. Okay. And I was still like, like I was good. Like I didn't feel like I needed to be in shape to be going over 120 miles an hour. Like, what, what are you, what, what are the drivers? Why, why is it a sport? It's a sport because you're competing to win and to win a prize. So th- anything that you compete to win is a sport. So you're telling me Absolutely. chess is a sport? Absolutely. No, that's not a sport. Absolutely, man. Chess is not a sport. All right. Well, it's cheerleading a sport. Cheerleading is a sport. All right, then. There you go. But it has physical demands on your body. Um, and, and, and cheerleading, uh, you know, cheerleading is border. It's borderline on the sport on the sport list. <laughs> but for me, I just don't think like driving to me. I don't know that I categorize that as a sport. For me, I don't categorize it as a sport. And I know I've heard cats tell me that the driver's got to be in shape. And I'm like, for what? Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe making those turns or doing some of that stuff. Who the hell Making the turns. Son, making the turns. (laughs) 
it's not physically demanding on the body. Next I get time it. Make a turn in your car to let me know how much energy you've exuded. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, maybe they come out all pumped up after that. I, I, don't, I don't know. know. I, listen, I, I get if you like seeing the cars go fast and around in a circle. Yep. That's cool. That's your thing. I'm not knocking it. I am not. I just don't know that I can classify that. I, now, I'll tell you what the sport is. If you want to if you want to call anything a sport about it, the pit crew to get the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sport. <laughs> I, I keep wondering every time I go to get my oil change, I'm like, yo, what's wrong with you guys? This is taking me a half hour. <laughs> The guys on that ass car do it in five seconds. They're fast, man. And don't charge your guy like a hundred dollars. It's crazy, it's crazy. I hear you. I hear you. You know what? I got a um, I got a really good friend of mine that uh, has his kid doing it. He's been doing it since he was five years old, and he has his kid doing it since he was five years old. And they have a whole room full of trophies. I mean, complete top to bottom. I'd like to ask him a little thing or two about that. Oh, See what Nick, that... Nick just hit me. That, that I knew it was coming. Nick just hit me with the drivers have to deal with heat. So I guess people who drive their cars like in Africa are better suited to be NASCAR drivers. And he goes, they're over 200 miles an hour. I get some. But I seen a bunch of races where they weren't quite at 200, though. They were like at 160. And like I can say, you know, like, like when I take my car from like one. I hate to say some of the speeds that I have my car at, but when I go from 120 to 140, like the only thing it gets for me is just more exciting as far as me opening my eyes and being like, damn, if something hits me or if a deer runs out in the middle of the road right now, it could be a problem. Yes. But as far as me physically, uh, yeah, my heart's pumping because I'm, you know, my adrenaline's going because I'm going fast, but not like me being in a boxing ring or me playing in a football game, running up and down the field all day. Um, I, I, you know, I'm still... It's not that level of physicality. I think you got to be a little careful doing that, brother. No, I, I'm, I'm going back a little ways. It's not, that's not no recent. That's, that's <laughs> you know what I mean? Ago. You know, I, hey, I, you know what? You got to preserve your quality of life there, man. No Don't doubt. be, you know, that's, you, that's you, you some, catch one little wrong turn or something like that. You're well, in no, trouble. I know, player. Trust me. I know. But back in the day, I was... I, I, I had a really lead foot. I, and I still got a lead foot a little bit. I have to catch myself. But, um, I mean, it stopped 200 miles an hour, obviously. I got you. I got you. So, veering off subject a little Ooh, bit, no, man, this, this, this show. But, hey, we're having a good time. It is Thursday, and we have Thursday Night Football tonight, brother. Thursday Night Football. Thursday. Hey, there's no AC in them cars, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Put a, adjusting the air condition while you're racing. I just turned my AC on when my car gets hot. <laughs> oh, my God. Tonight, 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 guys, we have the Green Bay Packers, who everybody is starting to question a little bit of how good they are or how good they aren't. They are 7-4, and 3-2 and two away, going into the Detroit Lions, who dream the Lions are – Kind of turning it around a little bit. Four and seven. I know the record's pretty bad, and they probably have to win out to even be considered a playoff team. But the Lions have already beat them, Dream. No doubt. And Green Bay is minus three with an under over of 46 and a half points. What is your thoughts on the Green Bay Packers going into the Dome tonight? I'm feeling Green Bay. You think so, huh? Yeah, I'm feeling Green Bay. I think I'm with you on this. The Lions, even though they beat them, remember the Lions barely beat them. They got out of Dodge. In the tundra, though. Yeah, no, I know. But remember, the guy missed the field goal? Right. So they got out of Dodge with that game. But mind you, the the Green Bay should have never been down. Um, No, the Lions, much improved. I'll give it to them. Recently. Recently. Packers, hmm. You know, I'm I'm still bizarrely can't re- figure out how the Packers managed to lose that game to the Bears, especially at the end of the game. They were just I know. primed to win that game. They couldn't the stop like, cuddles because they have no pass rush. I no, tell but you. I'm saying that Green Bay's offense should have scored on that last drive and won the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Very good saying? point. I mean, they I mean, had like first, first and ten or whatever yeah, it was on the goal line. Yeah, generally they do that. You first know what and, I mean? Where they were at, goal. the location they were at. I'm surprised that the Bears defense was able to stop them. Um I'm just going to go with the Bears, with the, with the, with the, with the Packers. Um, I just feel that the Packers... You know, they're it's tough because I don't know if the Packers are who they were before. Well, the Lions are the Lions are still talented too. Is the thing is the Lions, and I've always said this: Lion teams really undercoverly they've got a lot of talent on their team. Um, which I'm still surprised that they played as bad as they played this season. But their defense, 
Green Bay. I think Green Bay. I'm, I'm going with Green Bay in this spot. All right. Well, Green Bay was favored minus five and a half originally. Now it's down to three. But when I look at this, here is here's the problem. Well, number one, we've been talking about this for forever now is the fact of the offensive line has not been that good and the defensive line has not been getting pressure with the exception of the Minnesota game. That was it. And when you look at Green Bay, you know, they've always been, guys, if you go back to last year, I mean, I know Jordy Nelson was in the lineup last year, but they were near the top offensively. Now, this team is 24th in all of football in offense stream. Okay. So, and Detroit is actually 23rd. They're above them. Right. With a 4-7 and seven record versus a 7-4 and four team. I just don't know if Green Bay is the same team that they were last year, man. I think that they're a, I, I think they're a step down. And I think that, you know, I mean, not to not to veer off from this game, but I think there's two teams in the NFC that were great last year that are a step down, and that's Seattle and Green Bay. I think that you got two new teams like Arizona and Carolina that are going to emerge over these two teams. What was Carolina's record last year? Son, <clears throat> Carolina, d- stop. No, no, I just can't remember. What was it? I- Six, eight, and one. Oh, okay, my bad. Right. No, um, seven, seven, eight, and one. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know... <sighs> See, some people get, like, I'm not really that bothered with Green Bay because for some reason I feel like it's almost better to get in this little bit of a funk that they're in kind of like now and iron it out and then go into the playoffs with momentum than to be playing at a high level like I remember them last year, go into the playoffs and then get snuck like Seattle did then. Yeah. You know, so like I'm not that that concerned. I mean, I am a little bit because because you brought up a good point up across when you talked about their pass rush and the lack thereof, which is definitely something to be cognizant of with them. But the other issue that I blame on them, there's two other things that I have an issue with Green Bay. One, well, obviously they lost Jordy Nelson, so definitely they're going to be a step back without him. Yep. Okay, that's just one more weapon to go to, and you definitely can see that he is missed in that offense. You know, the other thing about Green Bay that I noticed too. That nobody's talked about tight end play, right? You know, Green Bay, they're not getting any tight end play um, out of their tight end. And for years, they, you know, they had a, a good tight end and was able to get some tight end play. I don't know what's going on with the tight end position and why they're not able to utilize that at all. Maybe they should have been the team to go out and try to get Vernon Davis when he became available. Um, and in the last part of it is their running game has been. You know, yeah, I mean, so so you don't you don't know what to get out of Eddie Lacy or Starks right. for that matter. You know what I mean? And when you look at the, well, their injury report here, uh, Ty Montgomery is out as well for this particular game. So I don't know. And when you look at it on paper, too, Dream, this is I mean, uh, and, and guess what? You also got a home team underdog on prime time. Oh, just okay. saying. I'm I know. Running, I know you love to hear I'm that. Running out and getting Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Green Bay is number twenty one in the land as far as defense is concerned and Detroit is number 18. Detroit on paper is a better team. Yes. Sucks. Sucks for Aaron Rodgers. But you know what? You got Aaron Rodgers. And I would take Aaron Rodgers over Matt Stafford any day as far as a quarterback position. Although I do really enjoy watching Stafford play. I really do. Um, You know, you got this Richard Rodgers guy as your tight end. Yeah, Rodgers to Rodgers. I've been hearing that a lot. They're not getting a lot of they're not getting a lot of production out of that out of that position. And guys, you know, that's a position, you know, when you got a team that throws the ball downfield like this Packers team does, usually the tight end can like can like flourish yep. in their system. Um and I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're leaving him in the block. I don't know what the situation is, but they're not getting any production out of that spot. And that that might be one one place to point your finger to say, hey, what's going on here? Why is it this getting utilized? Because uh, something does look slightly different with them. I'm, I'm on that with you. Um, I'm giving a lot of it on Jordy Nelson. I'm giving a little bit on the running game. But the last spot of it is their tight end play that they're not seem to be getting. So now, that being said... I just feel like Green Bay is going to win the game tonight. All right. Well, I don't really trust the I don't Lions. Know if I, I don't, now, now that I looked at this, I don't know if I want to get involved in it. Yeah. Um, looking Look. at it, and uh, Green Bay is only averaging 228 yards through the air, Aaron Rodgers. That's it. That's a lot lower than last year, man. He had like 50 more yards per game last year. You know, this game reminds me very much of the Green Bay-Minnesota game. Um, and Minnesota being a lot better team than Detroit. And everybody was like, oh, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then Green Bay went in and found the way to beat Minnesota still. Yep. Um, so 
That's why I'm going to roll with Green Bay because I believe that the Detroit, while they're improving and they're better, they're still not that good. They're definitely not better than the Vikings. Uh, Green Bay definitely needs a win in this spot. I think they'll win. You think they'll win, huh? Yeah. That's more instinctual, though. Yeah, more instincts. Because, I mean, you know, when you look at the paper, obviously, you know, Detroit's a better team. But that's just instincts calling at you, man, and saying, hey, maybe there's a little sense of urgency in the uh, Green Bay camp. Right. You know what I mean? So, and I know Detroit, even though on paper it doesn't talk about how they make mistakes, blow, you know, make, you know, blow things, you know, a, a fourth and two, a third and two that they should pick up. They don't get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's some things in the stats that you can't read about Detroit because Detroit is, I mean, we've watched them this season and they haven't been good. No, no, definitely not. And, um, and we've seen spots when, when Green Bay has been been good you know and have looked real good so um like i said you know green bay you know they beat you know they beat seattle they beat down on the chiefs you know then they came in and they beat you know they've had some very good spots i i think the bad spot for me with green bay was you know that that bears loss really bothers me with them but other than that you know i could live with some of their other losses at you know you said carolina is so dope so at carolina and then at denver you know i get some of that but i guess and then they did lose to Detroit at home, too. Yeah, right. They lost two home games this year, man. Yeah. Detroit and the Bears. Yeah. Interdivision matchups, guys. We always preach that as well. And this is another one. Interdivision inter- matchups. I think they'll be able to go look at the tape and find out, find some of their mistakes in this game. Um, and I think they'll be able to capitalize on it. I like, I like Green Bay to win. Uh, I, I would not get involved with the three. Um, two and a half? Yeah, you could buy it down to two and a half. Um, it'd be nice if you could get Green Bay. You're gonna you're gonna get it down to two and a half, and it's gonna be nineteen seventeen final. Yeah, you could get a <laughs> you could get Green Bay plus points. I'm thinking that you might want to um, have them plus some, plus some, huh? Just in case, because I wouldn't see the Lions if they were to win. I couldn't see them beating them by more than three. So if you could get Green Bay plus three and a half, yeah, oh, there you go, six and a half point teaser. Yeah, you should be Ooh, okay. Ooh, that might not be such a bad idea, Dream. I think be they'll okay. be in the game if they lose. They'll definitely be in the game. They're not going to get, you know, beat by more than that, by more than right. like, uh, you know, a couple of points or whatever. But, all right, man. Hey, I wish you the best of luck with that. I think I'm going to sit back and watch that one. Just too many intangibles for okay. me, Dream. You know what I mean? You know I don't like going against a home team underdog on prime time. Oh. <laughs> not for nothing, but that's come to form a lot this year. But last year it didn't. So last like, year it didn't. Last year it didn't. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Whatever. It is what it is. You do you. I'll do me. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Moving over to uh, I've been. You know what? I've been. I've been starting to keep my eye on a little college basketball dream. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't usually. You know, before I wasn't doing it as much until after football. But it's just like on every channel. You know what I mean? I'm flipping through it. I see like, you know, 10 college hoop games. It's a lot of it. There's a lot of it. Exactly. It's a lot of it. And they keep it loaded. (laughs) They do keep it loaded. And tonight. Now I know why everybody was, oh, I kill college basketball. (laughs) Oh, I bet you do because there's 50,000 games every night to pick from. Yeah, right. (laughs) I got 100 wins in college basketball. Yeah, I know. That's because you played 300 games. (laughs) 200 losses. But those were all, those were just slight plays. <laughs> hey, Dream, you know what I'm doing right now? I'm doing a little trial run. I got the video camera up, and I got it on me right now, and I'm looking forward to getting together with you and putting your camera up and all that so we can get this show on YouTube, baby. Oh, son, I can't use this camera. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna have to, I mean, dude, and it's going to come to a point now where I can't just wake up at, like, 8 o'clock <laughs> and get to the office and, you know, be all beat and, you know. <laughs> Dusty and stuff like that. Actually, oh, man. yeah, we'll get the makeup girls here, man. We'll get, yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah. Right. We'll, right. we'll get the glam squad popping, kid. We'll get the glam. You squad. got Kentucky tonight, play Kentucky, you baby. Kentucky minus five and a half with an under over of one forty seven and a half, and Kentucky is on the road. Spreads a little, little light. Little light, you think so, little huh? Light, yeah, for Kentucky, little light. Well, that's because UCLA is three and one at home. They're not bad at home. They're four and three all around, though. I know. All right, and, and, and Kentucky's the number one team in the country. You think that's appropriate, number one? I do. You do, huh? I do. I really liked what I saw on a North Carolina. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. No, North Carolina's not the number one team. I'm not saying that they are. I'm right, just saying okay. that I'm, I'm feeling them, and I'm feeling Sparty right now, and I'm also feeling Kansas. So, but looking at Kentucky, I think that uh, Coach Cal, kill a cow, like you like to call him. Yes, sir. <sighs> 
tough spot for them, though, man. No, no. You don't, you don't think uh, so, huh? No, 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 no. No, no. Kentucky should have no problems doing this. Kentucky should have no problems going out to their West Coast and beating a West Coast team. Um, I, I don't see any problem with that. I like Kentucky tonight to win. And I did, like I said, the only thing that's bothered me, I don't understand that's point spread. Five and a half, baby. Five and a half. I don't really half. understand that. I think Kentucky should be given more points. You think so? All right. Well, yeah. the other the other ranked team that we have is uh, number six, Oklahoma, who is 4-0 and hosting Central Arkansas, giving 31 points. And I know you got no interest in giving 31 points in anything. None. <laughs> so what are you looking at, Dream? Are you looking at Kentucky and Green Bay tonight? Slightly, slightly. Um, I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm, I'm just, we're just getting started this morning. We're just getting at it. Um, got to, let's go over and look at the little NBA for a minute. And see what they got yeah, going definitely. on. It might be an open tease with, um, with Green Bay. Okay. It might be open and get ready to get involved with some of the weekend. Maybe throw my Iowa in there. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? You're feeling an so, underdog this weekend. Yeah, you know I like Iowa. So, um, it might be open. I'm looking at the um right now. Looking at the basketball. Um. I don't see anything I like here. Oh, you got Heat Thunder tonight, though, which should be a good game. Oh, that's going to be a hell, hell of a game, man. Let me just take a look and pull up my NBA slate and see what we got. Yeah, the Oklahoma City Thunder are at the Miami Heat tonight. And both teams coming off losses, Dream. So, son, wait a minute. I, gotta, I know we've been way off sports today, but I want to just tell you this one little story. Go for it. Everybody should get a little kick out of this. So, you guys know, like, my feeling about the dogs, right? The, the little dogs and people can't go nowhere without their dog, right? Yeah. Yesterday I come home, <laughs> and you know my wife has a salon at the house. Oh no, you had a dog there. One of her clients brings her dog. Oh. And my wife's like, I uh, eggshells. She walks up to me to tell him, and I can hear him barking. And I'm like, Oh, what is that? And I'm like, Oh. And my wife's like, Well, the dog's got the. Listen, so the, here we go. The dog's got cancer. Oh, that's too bad. So, son. Son, I know. Stop, stop. Nah, that sucks, though. Stop it. You know, it does suck. But, but so the lady had to bring the dog with her to get her hair. I, I'm like, lady. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I don't. I bring don't... the dog with you to the therapist right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's I, you know what? I never understood people bringing the dogs around. I never understood that at all. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you take it for a walk or something like that in the park or whatever, but not, you know, not to go get your hair done. That's a little crazy. And your wife's like a, a neat freak as well. Yeah, I know, I know, like, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. like I know. waiting for the dog to, you know, go to the bathroom or something like that and a rug or something like that. So I know. So I was like, oh, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But they put a diaper. They had a, they had a diaper on the dog. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah so I mean, wow. Interesting. Was, Very it was, interesting. It was, it was it was like for TV. It was like like a little like a small baby in there. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, listen, dip by New Haven. There's probably a baby starving. Yeah. <laughs> Grab him up <laughs> uh, and put the diaper on him because he needs it. Yeah, the dog got a diaper instead. I love it. So looking at this, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder going into the Miami Heat tonight. OKC minus two. So your Miami Heat are an underdog at home tonight, brother. Okay. We got to take a look and see who's in the lineup for each particular team. I mean, uh, you know, got to see what D. Wade's situation is. Got to see what uh, Kevin Durant's situation is. I know they're probably going to be playing in this particular game tonight, Dream. Yeah, I think they should be up and they should be playing. And the Heat did drop a game the other day. Um, I think they dropped it on to the Sunday. Celtics. Yeah, they to lost the Celtics. The Celtics. Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking for them to bounce back. They'll be up for this game tonight in the house. Plus they got OKC coming in, so they'll want it. They'll probably be up. This is gonna be a good game. Um, I definitely wouldn't get involved in it as far as the wagering standpoint is concerned. What does Vegas have for a spread on this game? Pat? OKC minus two. Yeah, the Heat ain't gonna be feeling that. They're not appreciating that at all. Well, you got uh, you know, their last game they didn't have Birdman in, so that's why they lost. <laughs> He's got an illness, but he will be active for the game today, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's see. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. He was actually in the game versus the Celtics, but I didn't see much of him. And really to reverse a little bit, sorry, because I know you don't like when I do this, but I'm just seeing now that UCLA is the number four team in the country. I don't have them ranked at all here. I, I got them as number four. I'm looking at it right now. Unless oh, this okay. is women's, which I don't think it is. It's got to be. The four wow. and three team is not ranked number four, Dream. Three losses. I, I'm, I, it's you, it got, you, it's got, excuse me, Kentucky, Duke, Michigan State, UCLA. All right. Well, 
they'll be out of there real soon <laughs> with three losses, that's for sure. But uh, taking a look at this here, Miami Heat, uh, OKC Thunder. I don't see any injuries whatsoever for OKC, so they're at full strength tonight. I can understand they give it two points. You can? Yes, I can. Because I think they're a step better. They're definitely better than Miami Heat. Why? Because you got – OKC has two guys. No, more than that, man. You got – um. What's his name there? Oh, it's Abaka, not a but he's, got, oh, he's, it's not an offensive present. Now, go ahead. Give me the rest of your team. You got uh, Abaka there. You've got, obviously, Russ Westbrook. I said, Kevin, I said Westbrook Kevin Durant. Durant is doing his thing. And you know what? I also want to talk about the lineup for the Knicks because Knicks looked pretty good last night. <laughs> I love you just dipped out of that. You just named me the three. Like I kept saying to you, they got two guys, Oklahoma City. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. You know what? I gotta really get a better look at them. This, this Miami year. Heat team is deep. They got a bench. They got you know they, they the Heat. I'm telling you, I've been talking about them all season. Um, I, I don't know that OKC is one step up. OKC wins in a little different of fashion, which as they only got one, they're only one game better than the Heat. Um, OKC though is a headline getter because Westbrook goes out and scores 40 to 50 and dunks all night long. But um, the Heat play more of a team basketball. But you got Bosh implementing the threes. Wade's getting it done there as well. Dang has been an offensive threat. You got Whiteside. I'm telling you, this team is good. Yeah, and I'm looking at the roster for OKC right now, and it, yeah, not a lot of big names. They out got there. two guys, son. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just think they're a better squad. I know you do, cause you cause you hear about them a lot more than the Heat. But trust me, you will hear about the Heat some more and be like, that's what James was talking about all season. I'm I'm more interested in the Indiana Pacers in the East than mm-hmm. the Heat. So moving over, let's see what else we got here. Um, we got the San Antonio Spurs coming into the Memphis Grizzles, and the Memphis Grizzles have started to turn it around a little bit, Dream. Yeah, I haven't touched the Spurs a lot. Who, uh, by the way, uh, quietly are fifteen and four. Oh yeah, and they haven't lost at home. <laughs> quietly fifteen. They have and not four. lost, dude. They're ten and zero at home, bro. Yeah, and they exactly. Went, they went crazy last night too. Yep. They won by. I haven't touched points. them a lot. Like I, I just been, I've been nip and tuck with the basketball because this is a complicated season right now for me. As you know, we're trying to finish out the football thing, which is number one as far as I'm concerned. As you're going to prioritize it, and you guys know I don't bet every night and every day and every game just because, like, because it's playing. So. Um, that's just how I do it, and it's not really time for me to get ready for basketball, but I am keeping an eye on them. All right, so looking at this here, um, San Antonio is minus three and a half. Memphis in Memphis, right? And Memphis is six and three at home, and the under over is 185. San Antonio played last night at home, now is traveling to Memphis. Right. Uh, Memphis has won a couple of games in a row, man. So, you know what? I'm going to definitely start keeping my eye on this team. Obviously, they, they did lose a couple of games ago to the Atlanta Hawks at home. But, you know, they beat, obviously, some pretty nasty teams. And I'm kind of interested to see how they prepare for Pop tonight. Right. So, we'll be taking a look at that game and having a conversation. And also, my Indiana Pacers are playing tonight, Dream. And they're playing at Portland, and Portland is not that good, man. Four and five at home, and seven and twelve total record, and they're only given two points. And Indiana went into the Clippers and beat up on Rivers last night, man. Mm. What do you think there? You have no seen- idea, dude. I don't know nothing about this Indiana team. I'm not getting on. I, I the, all I know is that they they. We're supposed to be good in the playoffs last year, and they stunk. They got rid of Hibbert. That's what the, <laughs> it <laughs> propelled their game the to another Gibbs level now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. So, all right. So, taking a look at that, uh, those are the only big games on the ticket. You got some other dusty ones there, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you get involved with some of the nasty ones. But for me, I'm just going to probably just be watching a couple of these. I think I'm going to watch my Indiana Pacers go and do their thing, and I'm going to be watching the OKC and Miami game while I'm flipping back and forth with uh, Thursday night football. Uh, Moving over to the ice, unless you got any more NBA. Nope. Because I know know when I'm talking about the ice, I'm halfway through the (laughs) ice. You like going back to the NBA, so I just want to make sure that you're not going to do that. did that yesterday. All right. (laughs) (laughs) New York Rangers got the Colorado Avalanche coming into town, and guess what? Your boy's going to be on the Rangers again tonight. Okay. Have to. I like the way this team reacts to losses. Although they did lose three games in a row in their last losing streak. I was just getting ready to say that. Uh, They're minus 175 with an under over of five goals tonight. Obviously, we've got to take a look at the injuries and see what happened. Um, Definitely a physical game last night with the Islanders. So we've got to take a look and see if everybody's at full strength or whatever. But Colorado Avalanche, 10-14, brother. 
coming into town, and I just think the New York Rangers will get the job done. That's just an initial lean, guys. Obviously, we'll be looking at it as it materializes and talk about it later on with y'all. Um, looking at this, what else you got on the ticket dream as far as the ice? Mm, I don't really like anything. You don't really like anything, huh? No, I don't like any of the matchups. I mean, you got, yeah, it's some tough, it's okay to wild. <laughs> Here's a really good game. You got the you got the Caps coming into the Habs tonight. Yep. Washington Capitals going into the Montreal Canadiens, and it's pretty much even money all across the board with an under over of five. That is going to be a game to watch, Dream. Yep. Those are two teams that I think are going to be neck and neck as far as the East is concerned with the Rangers. Right. Those and are like two really good teams right now. Yeah, I don't like that matchup. Um, Smashville's got the Panthers. That Panther team with the defense, we've had their their, their representative on here talking. Um, the Panthers, you know, ever since he's come on, they have um, they've I've been silently wa- quietly watching him win games. Uh, up and down, up and down. But I mean, eleven and nine is not that that shabby. But they won the last. They won what last night on the road? Not last night. Tuesday night on the road. Yeah. Okay. Um, they beat. Where are they at? Who I they know beat? they won one. I was a little bit surprised with, and I said, "Wow!" I said, "Uh, you know, he might be on the side." There they go, right there. I'm sorry. St. Louis Blues. Baby. Yeah, they beat the Blues three to one. Yes, they beat the Blues on a Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, and I've been I've been qu- quietly, and then they beat the Red Wings on Sunday. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, quietly, they're 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 playing a lot better. Um, as he had pro- projected that they would. So uh, it's something to keep a slight little eye on. Yeah, and they beat the Islanders the game before that. And they beat the Islanders the game before that. Three yes, game exactly. winning streak right now for the Florida Panthers, Brown. <laughs> Three games. So something to take a look at as far as they're concerned, man. But, you know, I like the Rangers tonight. I think that's probably – I like the Rangers better than the football game. Yep. I like the Rangers better than uh, basketball games. That's probably all I'm going to be around tonight, Dream. I don't know, man. The Rangers played last night. They're in uh, – I would – caution. Caution, huh? I think caution in this game. I don't know why. Just, uh, it's just the feeling I got. I mean, the Avalanche. Don't get me wrong. The Avalanche, like, you know how I feel about them. They are a very disappointing team. Um, they did beat the Devils on Tuesday night. Um, then they were off. The Rangers just though have been in a slight little bit of a funk, slightly. Yeah, you know, I guess you're good. Yeah. I think I'm fine. And I'm, I'm, my man Marlon's on here giving me all kinds of information here, saying Washington has won nine of its previous 11 visits to the Bell Center and rides a five-game overall winning streak. Mm. Huh. The Habs, kid. That's, that's not getting me involved in it. <laughs> <laughs> go tell them that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're well aware. Yo, go tell the Cabs, the Habs that. So they could just be like, oh, okay, well, we don't need it for us to show that, up. That's tonight, reve- that smells revenge to me. Yeah, exactly. That smells well, how like do you take get, that? Yeah, 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 exactly. You know? That's one thing, you know, Marlon, I'm glad you brought this up because that's something to definitely talk about. You know, when a team has like a winning streak versus another team. I wonder if that gives you added motivation to go and, uh, you know, try to snap the streak. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. If Dream, if you're, if you're, let's say you're playing one-on-one basketball, let's just kind of, you know, go out there so and you got to, no. yeah, all right. So, all right. You're, just go you, with the team. Just go with the you team. You have a concept. team. Okay. And yeah. you got this team that keeps coming in and just smacking you around. Don't you want to like kind of play a little harder to beat them? During the regular season, no, I don't think so. I think during the regular season, you're just you just want to win whoever comes in your house. Okay. It doesn't really matter. I, I don't think I don't think they're that cognizant of that. Really, I I don't. I mean, and based on what I've heard out of, I mean, unless you get that, the only time you get that dynamic is when a player's been traded or his old team is playing his old team. Then I think you get that, and you get that, you know, whoever that player is, you know, if it's a quarterback, then he maybe get some of the other guys on the same page with him as far as that intensity. But other than that or outside of that, I think you just want to play to win your games at home. You play to win the game. Right. You play to win the game. All right, man. So I don't see anything else as far as the ice is concerned, Dream, that's really getting me excited other than the Rangers time. And the Wild. I like the Wild against the Maple Leafs, obviously. The Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs are 6-17, and 17, man, and caught a loss last night. And traveling to Minnesota, you're probably onto something there. But, you know, I mean, it is a minus 225 uh, money line. Do you get involved in the regulation stuff? 
No. You don't, huh? You no, just look no. for, for them to win the particular Son, game. Son, you know how many shootouts I won? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get involved with a regulation? <laughs> get involved with regulation, baby. Yeah, I been like, see, like every game I ever pick goes into a shootout. <laughs> So I no, I won't be getting. You involved have been in involved in a lot of stomach ache hockey games lately. Yeah, huh? exactly. That's why I'm not even thinking about a regulation. But I see it out there a lot. I don't know. A, a lot of guys do do it, and no knock on you if you do. But for as far as I'm concerned, no. I want to. I just want to win like old fashionedly. <laughs> you know, I, I I've noticed that with the video camera, I have to like be in a certain position and all that, like for the whole show now. So this is going to be kind of difficult, man. So I got to kind of get my. Do remember when we were doing the YouTube videos for the uh, for the NFL? Oh yeah. <laughs> We're like, all right, my, my, my man for the video camera is like, all right, you guys got to stay like elbow to elbow the whole time. <laughs> and we're sitting there, you know, we're wild, man. You know, you yeah, got music we want to move around, all, you know, move your gotta... hands. And, and yo, I'm going to show you with the video too because I stand up sometimes when we're doing it and move around. Sometimes when the music's banging, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping around. <laughs> were you jumping around to the rock this morning? I was. <laughs> Fist bumping and all that, you know what I mean? Yes. So, yes. and my outfits are crazy because I usually go to the gym, so I'm in gym clothes sometimes. So, hey, good, good, good no telling what you guys going to get. <sighs> Gotta have to step up game, player. Nah, I'm not stepping up. I just buy look, look at this, look at this bum on the, on the air with his sweats. <laughs> hey, I'm in sweats game. right now, man. I'm in sweats right now, actually, to be honest with you. But it is what it is, man. And, hey, most of our audience is male anyway, so it doesn't really matter. No doubt. Love you guys, but we're not trying to impress you. No, not at all. Don't <laughs> think the truth is, trust me. Unless, unless not, we got females watching, you know what I mean? But at hey. all other than to just, like, have a drink with. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. So, other than that dream, I don't have anything else. Hey, that's it, brother. That's all I got to today. Um, I would be careful. Listen, guys, be careful with the Green Bay matchup. It's not as easy as it looks, um, obviously. So be careful. I don't know if I love it either. Um, I'm kind of on the fence with it. I think I I do like it, though. If you get them plus three and a half, I do like Green Bay plus three and a half. Three and a half. I like them plus three and a half for and sure. And pair it up with uh, some other maybe college football or some. College uh, football or maybe you want to get the Minnesota Wild in it. I don't know yet. So I'll, I'll figure it out and we'll, you know, maybe have a conversation if about you, it a little if you, bit later. If you love Iowa so much, maybe you want to add the points to Iowa. That's what I said. I, I know. Right. You know what I mean? So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for us, man. We are free seven days a week and having a ball, kid. Great show today, Dream. No doubt. We, we always have a good show, man. It, it's been a, just a great week so far as far as the leans and all of that and, you know, just rocking and rolling, man. It's been good, and I hope the leans still uh, – the leans, guys, I mean, they're, they are – Go, obviously, don't just take the leans. Obviously, go back and do your own homework and definitely check things before the games and make sure your lineups are right. And all that stuff goes without saying because it is early in the morning, first thing. And we are going right off the top of our head. But um, they have been pretty good. And I think that um, hopefully we've, we've helped some people. Hopefully, we're we're doing what we've set out to do. And hopefully, we're you know accomplishing our mission. Yes. I want to thank everybody that's out there listening and retweeting the show. We got System Pick 63. We got G Rose, KMVU, my man BT, what's happening? LA Wiz Kids out there. Negative Ghost Rider, JDH24. Good to see you out there this morning. Joseph Del Rosario, Tip Talker, Money Flipper Incorporated as well. Uh, Vegas Jack, Sir Mata, what's going on? Philly Picks is in the house. What's up, Philly? Um, Long Wu, Sirac King J, AB Lent, the pick. Nicholas J is out there as well. My man Terrence Mack, Lone Star Ombre, Direct Sport Solution. Good morning to you all. INT, Jeff Ryan, Nick Arrestus, SD Grind, Razor Ramon, MC Money, OJFB, Derry Bouchard, CDN, Capra Kings. What's up? C Rodriguez Jr., Benjamin Rowe, JC, J Snyder, Irvin. Nangelo Nunez, P for Prez, Bosky, Marlon, Christos, J Cass, Jason Riley, Mario Martinez, Stoopy Betts, and the ever present Vegas girl, 92661. Guys, take a look at the Minnesota Wild. They're home tonight. They got a little, little kind of a light matchup there coming in as in the Maple Leafs, so the Wild might have an opportunity to, you know, Flex their muscle on, on them a little bit. Uh, you might want to take a look at that. You also got Kentucky playing basketball against UCLA. I believe Kentucky should have no issues handling the UCLA Bruins tonight. So you might want to look over there. Um, and my slight lean is on the Green Bay Packers as well. Um, but I like them plus three and a half points. Um, so you have to get them involved in some type of teaser situation. All right. Other than that, 
I am the dream. Always remember who you're with and make the most of each and every day as you cannot get this time back. Perfect, man. And uh, on Twitter, it just showed me like a who to follow thing. And the New York Rangers were the top thing to follow. So maybe that's a little sign that they're going to go ham tonight and get the job done for me. It is what it is, man. We are the SBTV Nation, guys. SBTVNation.com. Sister the web- Picks, I didn't say that. Excuse me. I didn't say that the Heat were better than OKC. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> we love you to death. Go out there. Go easy. Do your own homework. Get involved in all your own plays. Make all your dreams a damn reality and get that money. Let's go. Peace.